Here with Endicott football head coach Kevin DeWall after a big win over Maine Maritime earlier today. Coach, just talk about the win overall from your perspective. Great, uh, good quality win. I mean, when you play uh, an option, uh, the triple option that uh, Maine Maritime does a great job coming in, one of the top five teams in the country rushing. Uh, that was our focus this week on preparation is having our defensive guys really understand their assignments and the couple different looks we were going to do. Uh, Coach Hadley uh, and the whole defensive coaching staff thought they did a good job with the defensive players having a good game plan. And then more importantly, they came out and did a good job executing it. So uh, hats off. Uh, I thought the defense played hard. Missed some tackles as always. But, uh, you know, if you can uh, uh, be uh, patient enough to, to get the stops that we can get and we did a good job. Uh, they had the pick six early on, setting it up 7 nothing. That was a good start to the game by the defense. And then I thought that kind of set the tone. Their energy was high all day long. So really, uh, hats off. Defense did a great job. Coach, can you just talk about the red zone defense specifically? Obviously, Endicott coming in 32nd in the country in rushing defense, but the red zone defense is up there too. Talk about what they did in the red zone. Well, I think that's one of the things when you play a triple option team, we kind of planned that I mean, anytime they were, unless it was really going to be fourth and long, they probably weren't going to kick the field goals. Um, so we kind of almost defensively knew that you were going to have to defend all four downs. And I think, uh, as always, uh, the old bend but don't break adage, you obviously you want to don't want to bend at all, but if you can get that stop down in the score zone, I think that was probably one of the differences in the game where our offense was able to score when we were down there. Um, you know, unfortunately, sometimes too many field goals, but our defense did a great job getting at least two or three stops, I think, down in the score zone. Uh, and then obviously that's significant when we can keep them off the scoreboard and then put our offense back on the ball. Coach, can you just talk about the offense? Main Maritime coming in, averaging 33 minutes over in possession. Thought Sam Ouellette did a great job of managing the offense, especially with Spencer Walsh, Levante Wiggins, and the rest of the running backs, and Eric Razney as well. Just talk about the offense and how they kind of manage the game from their perspective. Yeah, I mean, you hit the, you really hit it right there. I mean, offensively, it was a lot of different names stepping up, and that's the two, true unit and team aspect that we talk about. I mean, many, many receivers contributing in terms of the, the catches between the tight ends and the receivers. Uh, we had multiple running backs getting touches. Um, and then I thought Sam did a great job really, uh, you know, I'm sure he wants a couple of those throws and decisions back, but I thought he did a great job coming to him. He's playing, playing with an injury right now and, and playing through it. And, and really the offensive line, uh, we challenged him up front. We had a couple guys down. Uh, we had five or six starters today that uh, were out for this game that were starting last week. So I think uh, some different guys stepped up up front and, and really just a whole, the whole unit offensively. Uh, many different faces stepped up. It was a good team win. Talk about the special teams game, Kyle Regan with three field goals, but specifically the coverage on, on punt returns and kick returns held, held Maine Maritime to what was, you know, good enough against Colin Joyce, who's had a really good year. Yeah, and, and I think anytime you get the option team, you want to give them as much of a field to try to go, and, and you don't want to give them a short field to, uh, to get their offense out there. So I thought, you know, we, we focused on it this week. We, we really emphasized that, and I think between – uh, Chris Lipscomb with his punting skills and uh, you know obviously the run on, on the fourth down uh, as well as Kyle with the kickoff and both their coverage units both the punt and the uh, the kickoff cover units just did a great job giving their defense our excuse me our defense a long field to defend which I think if we can do that against the option gives us a couple extra yards to have some opportunities to make some plays so uh, and then Kyle came up big in the, in the kicking game with some field goals so across the board I'm, I'm pleased all three phases I mean obviously we'll go watch the video find ways to get better but I thought that was a great team win and I thought all three phases did a good job coming out preparing all week and then executing them today. Coach just talk about what's up next for Endicott football. Haven't really looked too far ahead. I know we're uh, we're going to go on the road against uh, a very good opponent in Western New England. Uh, have not seen their score yet, but I mean at this point they were undefeated up to this uh, up to this afternoon. Uh, they're a quality opponent. Haven't really looked too far ahead because our focus was on Maine Maritime. Uh, we got a lot of injuries. We got to figure out who our guys are and, and different moving parts, and, and obviously focus on tomorrow uh, watching this video, getting better, and, and learning where we can take steps forward and then uh, you know, regroup and uh, put a game plan together to, to go on and on the road and, and play a very good quality opponent. All right, thank you, Coach, and congrats on the win today. Thank you very much.